Okay, so here we are back again with row one done of our half double crochets. Um, my focus on my video is really annoying me, so I'm sorry. It's kind of soft, the focus. Um, <laughs> I don't know, maybe I'll remove this ruler so it's not reflecting so badly. Maybe it'll be okay there. Yeah. Anyway, um, what's interesting about half double crochets, on a single crochet, you've got you know, the base of the stitch here, and then the top of the stitch is directly on top of it. But in a half double, it sits kind of over this hole. I don't know if you can observe that a little bit on there. Kind of sits back further. So when you flip it over, it is actually like on this side is where you're working in this stitch. So it seems a little bit confusing. Um, so I've made up some tricks just to help work in rows, especially in these half double crochets. I should have done it back here, but now it's because I don't have anything worked in here. It's easy to see. There's the third chain I worked in. There's the one, two we skipped, and then there's the first half double crochet. So what I'm going to do is place a stitch marker there. So I know when I come back here, that's my last stitch I'm going to work in. So we're going to hop over here. make our two chains and turn and turn chains always count as a stitch unless it's mentioned that it isn't um, it's important because in some other pattern you might need to be making chains to get yourself into a stitch stitch pattern like a, a V stitch or something else and then it needs to count as a stitch um, I like counting them as a stitch typically like when I work in rows because I like working in that chain, but everyone has their own preference. But in this pattern, because we want this to stick out um, the whole pattern, we are not going to. So we're going to work our first half double crochet in the back loop of the stitch. So there's the top of the half double. There's what the side looks like. So you almost have extra V's here, and then you've got your V's on top, right? In my classes, I always show the V's of the stitch this way. Um, and then they kind of face this direction this way. So there's the back loop. There's the front loop. And here's that third loop of the half double. Sorry, it's not that one. It's this little guy. He's hiding. <laughs> so if you can see that down there, kind of look for those ones that lay, lay sideways, not the ones that are kind of turned into that middle of the V. So back loop, front loop, there's the third loop. But we're going to be working in the back loop, just normal back loop. So those are normally what your stitches look like, right? When you look at the top, you're just working in that back loop, making your half double. I kind of stretched it out weird when I did that. So make your first one, grab a stitch marker, and put your stitch marker there. So that will help you on your way back. So you're just going to continue working half double crochets across this row until you get to the end and then I'll be able to show you how we're going to work that third row which is a little different and unconventional. I'm sure you've seen some patterns done with it before so it's not like I made this up and it's new or anything. It's just a way to work into the stitch.